Welcome back, and now for the news in detail. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to support all environmental issues, especially those related to biodiversity, due to their great importance in achieving sustainable development goals. On the occasion of Gulf Wildlife Day, which falls on December the 30th, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah affirmed that Bahrain has made honorable achievements and gains regionally and internationally in the field of environmental conservation and climate change, as well as enhancing joint cooperation and exchanging experiences in the field of preserving wildlife and biodiversity with countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council. His Highness also praised the efforts made by the Gulf Cooperation Council countries in implementing the agreement to preserve wildlife and its natural habitats as it is designated December the 30th of each year to celebrate wildlife with the aim of educating citizens and residents about the importance of preserving wildlife and introducing them to the efforts made by the GCC to protect and sustain wildlife and their natural habitats. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah pointed out that the Supreme Council for the Environment shows great interest in the field of environmental awareness and the importance of preserving wildlife and its great role in human life and contributing to projects for schools and university students regarding the mangrove plant. His Highness stressed that the various natural reserves that characterize the Kingdom of Bahrain reflect the great interest that attaches to preserving wildlife. The Supreme Council for the Environment has inaugurated the mangrove plant nursery located in the Ras Senate area within the Tubli Bay Reserve in order to intensify national efforts aimed at moving forward towards increasing the green area and quadrupling the mangrove trees by 2035. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Supreme Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Club Supreme Committee, and Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The second round of the third edition of the Bahrain Turf Series races was held today by Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. As it, at its race course in Arrafah Sakhir. The club hosts 10 rounds of the Bahrain Turf Series races throughout the season with the participation of owners, trainers and horses from various countries. The race saw the attendance of His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as well as a number of their Highnesses, representatives of sponsors and the equestrian sports fans. The organization of the Bahrain Turf Series comes as a result of the success and achievements of the last two editions of the International Series and the Bahrain International Trophy. The Kingdom has gained a distinguished international reputation in the world of horse racing, which is a testimony of the advancement of the Bahraini horse racing journey by attracting a large group of international horses with high classifications as well as the participation of international owners, trainers and riders. Bahrain has strengthened its position on the global horse racing map. The third round of Bahrain Turf Series for Al Rafah Cup was designated for imported horses handicap at a distance of a 1,200 meters with a significant participation of 18 horses. The Bahraini horse Rocket Rodney of Victoria Stable, trained by George Scott and ridden by the jockey Callum Shepard, won first place. Second place went to Brazen Bolt and Anthem National won third place, while Buffer Zone came fourth. Winners at the Cups were announced, and the captain of Team Victorious, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was presented with a trophy of Al Rafah Cup by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
The Minister of Tourism, Fatima bin Jafar al Slarafi, affirmed that the Bahraini farmers' market has become a favorite destination for citizens, residents, tourists, and visitors to the Kingdom of Bahrain due to the unique experience it provides in which many attractive and interesting elements combine. This came during her visit to the Bahraini farmers' market in its 11th edition at the Badaya Botanical Garden, where the minister praised the distinguished organization of the market this year, stressing the Ministry of Tourism's keenness to support these efforts by promoting this market inside and outside the Kingdom of Bahrain. With in the agenda of important tourism and entertainment events at the Kingdom of Bahrain witnesses annually. The Minister of Tourism was briefed on the various ag agricultural products offered by the participating Bahraini farmers and companies specialized in farming and agriculture nurseries as well as small projects, productive families, date shops, apiaries and the children's play area. al Sayrafi said that the farmers market represents an important marketing platform for Bahraini products and for the food manufacturing industries produced in the Kingdom of Bahrain in addition to being an entertainment and tourist season visited by citizens and residents of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. She noted that this market is considered a witness to the great interest in the Kingdom undertakes to provide various types of support to the agricultural sector as part of efforts to advance the economic development process in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The 34th edition of the Autumn Fair concluded yesterday at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center in Sakhir. The event at Exhibition World Bahrain since its opening on the 21st of this month witnessed a great turnout by citizens, residents and visitors of the Kingdom of Bahrain as it has become one of the largest exhibitions specialized in selling consumer products. This year it succeeded in attracting more than 557 exhibitors from 16 countries in addition to what it offers of a seasonal shopping experience that allows customers to get the best offers from different countries at competitive prices. The momentum witnessed by the exhibition in terms of the large number of exhibitors and the heavy turnout of visitors and shoppers is an indication of the remarkable recovery of the exhibition industry in the kingdom at an accelerated pace. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, launched a promotional roadshow in Shanghai and Guangzhou, China, involving prominent travel, tourism, aviation, and hotel sectors. Dr. Nasser Qaidi, the chief executive officer of BTEA, said the roadshow aims to promote tourist destinations, attracts East Asian tourists, and support the growth of the tourism sector. It will highlight Bahrain's status and competitiveness as an ideal tourist destination with advanced facilities and services that meet modern life requirements. They also seek to build partnerships and and conclude cooperation agreements. The roadshow revealed a growing interest from Chinese tourism entities to explore Bahraini tourism opportunities and products, indicating a positive image of Bahraini tourism among Chinese tourism sector leaders, according to Al Qaidi. This opens the way for the private sector to offer more programs and attract new tourists to enjoy the kingdom's nature, diverse activities, and ancient cultural heritage. The promotional roadshow aims to promote Bahrain as a prominent tourist destination in regional and global markets, enhancing the sector's contribution to the gross domestic product in line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's tourism strategy 2022-2026. The National Day Festival held at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan within, within Celebrate Bahrain 2023 has been extended until January the 1st, 2024, following the large public turnout, according to the Information Ministry. The festival is held on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its National Days, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the accompanying national events. Organized by the Ministry of Information, the National Day Festival features a rich lineup of artistic and recreational activities and events, as well as heritage markets reflecting important aspects of the authentic Bahraini memory and identity. The police directorates and the four governorates and concerned interior ministry directorates have finalized preparations to implement a security plan during New Year's celebrations. They took the required arrangements to ensure the safety and security of citizens and residents during New Year's celebrations through security deployment in all parts of the kingdom. They will be deployed on roads, commercial malls and residential areas to provide the best security services. The General Directorate of Traffic has intensified this deployment of traffic personnel to monitor main highways and regulate traffic 
traffic near malls and busy roads. Meanwhile, the General Directorate of Civil Defense has been alerted to ensure swift response in case of fire cases. The plans were arranged due to the expected traffic rush in different areas in Bahrain that host various celebrations. It urged road users to follow traffic rules, including avoiding wrong parking, ensuring the safety of children by not leaving them alone, giving away to pedestrians and focusing on driving.